All right, y'all, this is real. This is real time, 72 degrees and a beautiful day in Central Texas. I'm so happy. I mean, it's 9-12, it could get hot later, but you know what, right now it's gorgeous. Moonbeam is happy, hop, skip, jumping, running around. He loves being outside. He was begging to go outside because at night he came in at 3 a.m. woke me up so I closed the cat window just for their safety at night. I prefer them to be inside and they bring in birds and one time they brought in a bat but he's having fun and I hope everyone's having a good Monday. I am waiting because the post office doesn't set the mail up till 1030 so in about 30 minutes I'm gonna go get the mail go take my dad iced coffee, visit with him, see if he's in the mood for anything for lunch, and just, I'm playing the day by ear. I've just had my coffee already. I have another cup. I drink a liter of coffee at least in the morning because that's what the French press makes and I drink it all. Um, but I hope everyone has a wonderful day. I'm just enjoying this weather, excited that summer is coming to an end and excited for fall and winter. And I hope you know that whatever happens today, it's gonna be okay. I don't know what's happening with my dad each day. I'm getting different medical news each day. And I've dealt with this with my mom and my sister battling cancer as well. Dad's battling cancer, skin cancer, and bladder cancer. My mom and sister battled bone or breast to bone cancer. It's just, it's a part of what's happened in our family. And no matter what, God is taking care of us. And I have faith and I'm grateful for that. And I know not everyone has that, but everyone should know that you can. And everyone should know if you ever wanna look into it, just read the Bible, use discernment. Don't just trust what the preacher says. Read the Bible for yourself if you want to. If you don't, it's your choice. But I definitely am grateful for everything. I'm grateful for what my family's taught me. I'm grateful for the love that are still a piece of me. My mom and my sister are in my heart with me. And guess what? They would be much more affectionate with dad. They would be able to, to comfort him better. I'm just another guy. I'm not a big comfort to dad and I get that, but we still talk. We reminisce. It's just, I miss that loving care my mom and my sister brought. And they would be they would be helping dad right now. But you know what? God's with us. God's with them. So they're with us too. So I'm not worried about it. My mom and my sister live in my dad and my heart and everyone who knew them as well. So just remember, if your family's gone and you're feeling down and you're feeling like you wish you had them, they're still with you in your hearts. Your parents, your siblings, if they're on the other side now, you know. You still have all your memories and all that care and all the encouraging words they told you before you still carry with you. So know it's going to be okay. Know you're enough. Know you're amazing. Know you're one of a kind. And I hope you have a wonderful Monday and a smooth week. And I love you so much. But God loves you more. Have a great day.